in America there's technology and then there's technology there's old-fashioned technology that's based on mechanics and electronics and then there's new fashion technology that's based on internet satellites and telecommunication and my guess is there's other technologies around that but I'm not a technologist the reality is that the world's famous scientists around the world are not being promoted here because we have our own scientific technologies. The reality is that medicine, in some cases, is considered new technology. Biohacking is something that new technologies allow, and there are products, all natural products, that are hacking the body, improving its medications, not at all, but improving how it ages. And that's something we have to be concerned with as American citizens. How is your body going to age? Are you treating your body as the temple of the Lord today. In other words, your soul is housed within your body. Are you showing yourself? Are you teaching yourself? Are your family and friends helping you to develop the body that you need in order to be successful, remain healthy, hearty, and happy in America today? It's a tough call for a lot of families to stop overfeeding and force feeding their children and basically emotionally abusing them with food either in one way or the other, telling them that they're too fat when they're not, or telling them too, too skinny when they shouldn't be, or telling them in all certain terms because of their own overweightness that it's totally fine to keep eating. People often feed their emotions with food. We have to work on teaching parents how to be better parents today. That is something the government can do in every way, can promote a channel off their website with a slash tag that allows them to move it over to parenting. And there ought to be out there some of the best minds in America on parenting, providing what is and isn't age-appropriate behavior on the stupidest aspects of parenting. 